everyone the bridge was going to collapse. Everybody off the bus! And minutes later, it did. So in the film, we have this premonition that completely changes the whole thing, and you save your love, you save her life. Have you guys so ever sweet. had an experience in life where you had a near-death encounter or something? Or you, you know? I did actually. I, I um, I, uh, I did have a very serious. I was in a very serious car accident actually when I was 17. I was driving, and my sister's in the car. One was in the passenger seat, one was right behind me, and. Uh, when it, it slipped on some ice and went perpendicular to the road, it fell on its side. Mm. And I actually have a scar on my elbow here from when my elbow hit the pavement. Oh. So uh, thankfully, we're all wearing our seatbelts and we didn't slide into the other lane or anything so that the oncoming traffic didn't hit us. But it was, that, was, uh, that was pretty serious. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty serious. When we're done, you'll have perfect vision. I'll be right back. take one of my worst fears of all time, something I've been wanting to do forever, and now I just don't think it's ever going to happen, but how long did you have to be in that position with that uh, Well, we shot that, well, we shot that a, a few days, but the, one, the longest day was from 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning, and that speculum that night went probably in and out of my eye like 70 times. They numbed my eye. There wasn't a lot of CGI there uh, other than, you know, the laser, but... What you see is what you get. That speculum going in, the head bites, me trying to claw that myself. That is 15 hours. Yeah. Was, oh my god. You guys were like tortured. Oh my god. Was it really that bad? Is there something fun that Where's happened my on set? Oh yeah. yeah. The next day I had the craziest lazy eye because it was they numbed it all night. <laughs> <laughs> it, was awesome. it says right here in the statement, I knew it would happen. I had a vision. when the bridge was going to collapse. Now your character seems to have this intuition that something's just not right. Something's not right. Well, you're filming. I have to say, I you know, you, we saw this in a movie theater. You go out, you're in a parking garage. It is the freakiest good, place to be good, after good, a movie good, like this. Good. You keep thinking something's going to collapse. Well, you guys were filming. Were you super paranoid that things were going on just because of your mindset of I think you're extra theater? aware when you're shooting a I think you're aware and you, you yeah. also when you're shooting a movie like this, you want to be so open to any stimuli because you're looking at green screen and nothing's right. real and you want your right. imagination to be crazy cakes. I said crazy cakes. Yeah, crazy yeah, cakes. Did. I did it. So I mean, so anything that you're thinking about or hearing or doing, like you hear bumps or noises, you're always did, a little was jittery. It, was there any something It was that, crazy was, cakes. Was, was, oh my was, God. Was there any something that, was there something that was really, did, did something happen? During I'm not going to talk about that. Okay. It I was mean, really emotional right, Let's pretend like he's not here.